Yeah. What's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back. Either way, I would love if you take some time to like and subscribe below. I'll even give you 10 seconds to do so. Anyway, this is gonna be a different type of tutorial. Typically, I'm teaching you how to create charts, um, drug charts, how to create my study guide, how I digitally take notes, but now it's gonna be a tutorial on how I edit my YouTube videos. So if you check the comments below, I'm gonna have a pinned comment with um, basically a breakdown from each time over the topics I'm gonna to go over. I'm literally gonna take you through how I create my videos. That includes opening the app, adding film, cutting down the film, adding music, adding overlays, um, and then adding cool effects such as like my typing intro like this. So let's get to it. Before we go any further, let's talk equipment. I am not a full-time YouTuber with all this glitz and glam um, <laughs> filming gear. Um, I actually just use my iPhone XS Max and my MacBook Pro 2017. Yes. Um, I love YouTube and I've really enjoyed making these videos and editing, um, but I'm also in grad school and grad school does take precedence over that. But um, I did make a promise that if I did continue with my channel after one year and I thoroughly enjoyed it, I would actually purchase a camera. So stay tuned for that in a few weeks when I finally purchase my camera. Um, I will probably do like an unboxing and how I then edit videos with my new camera. But this is just gonna be how I edit videos that I shoot on my iPhone XX Max. Okay, first up is actually adding in your film to the iMovie app. So you'll essentially open the app, hit create movie, and then from your download or from your desktop, either one, you can basically just drag and drop your film into the iMovie app. I personally like to essentially spread my fingers across my trackpad to elongate my film. So you'll see how it went from this itty bitty clip to um, really seeing basically every single motion in the eight minutes of film. This helps a lot when I need to split a clip. To split a clip, what you do is you go to the point where you want to split, you press down with two fingers on your trackpad and hit split clip. The part that's yellow is what's going to be split or deleted and then you actually just hit delete and then repeat. The rest of this is really just me going through all the footage that I've shot and me cutting out things such as like awkward pauses, things where I messed up, and then obviously separating the video because I typically will film my intro, um, what other stuff needs to be said sitting down, and then also my outro. So I go ahead and split all that up as well. Next up is basically um, fixing my skin tone on camera. So obviously it's very bright in my apartment. So I'd like to go back and basically make sure that I don't look crusty. Essentially what I do is I go up to the top and I hit that little black and white thing and I hit skin tone balance and then I play around with the little dropper um, just to make sure that I have all my melanin popping and then I also don't look orange. So this is just a few examples of how I play around with it to see how to best showcase the melanin. So a pro tip would probably be to go ahead and do this to the entire film when you import it into iMovie. So if you shot eight minutes of film that you're gonna break up, go ahead and do that before you break it up because I forgot to do that today and I had to literally scroll through every single clip that I broke up and do the same thing. So if I look orange in one slide and then my melanin's pop in the next, you know why.
Next, I use an app called Over on my iPad to create transparent overlays. So I open the app and I choose kind of the size that I want to use. I typically go for a wider size so that I can have um, extra space just in case I want to elongate things. And then I just start adding my text. So this is going to be for the overlay that was on this slide or <laughs> portion of my video where I talked about equipment. So I'm adding my text and then you're going to see me play around with all the different cool fonts. So this app is free, but you can pay to have pro fonts. Um, I haven't paid yet because I like all the free fonts as well as all the free other aspects like um, different shapes and backgrounds that come free. So once I've decided on a font that I think works well, I essentially also play around with the alignment of my font. Um, also in Over, there's so many different things you can do. You can change the color, you can change the size, you can add a shadow, you can make it opaque, you can rotate it, you can nudge it. There's just so many things that you can do um, just to like uh, put your own personal touch on it and just like create what you are expecting or what you're um, looking for. Next, I like to add graphics behind my text just to give it a pop for when it's on my video. So I have already downloaded several free backgrounds that I've just collected over my time using this app, but um, I decided to go with something different. So this was something I previously used and I didn't really like it. So I decided to go with um, a new one. So I deleted that and then I go back down to graphics and I search for a little bit and I don't really find something I'm looking for. So instead I check the shapes, didn't find anything I was looking for. And so instead I decided to type in free in the search box. So everything that's free on this app will pop up there and that's an amazing thing. Um, I ended up finding this little cute little pink bubble that I decided to use and kind of like only use half of it so that it's coming out the side of my video. And to bring it backwards, what I do is I use that little triangle up the top and I just essentially um, hold it down and bring it under the text. Once I've finalized my design, I hit the check in the um, right hand corner, I save it to photos, and then I airdrop it to my MacBook. Once it reaches MacBook land, I do the same thing. So I open up and downloads and I drop it right over where I want the overlay to exactly be. Now I make sure my overlay is picture in picture. I go over and I make sure it is fit, not Ken Burns. And then I go back down and I move this over because this makes it go from fading into the film to just being um, popped up in the film and being constantly there. Then I just format and size to liking. And then this is what it looks like. And of course you can make your overlay last a little bit longer. Um, so I took it from four seconds to 5.7 seconds. Next step is adding transitions in my video. So you go to the left hand corner and then there's a bunch of transitions you can choose from. Um, sometimes I like to try out different things, um, but I typically just stick with the wipe. Um, what cool thing about the transitions is that you can actually change the timing on them. So they're automatically one second, but I like a quick wipe. So I typically try out like 0.5 or even 0.3. Once I find a transition in a timing that's good for me, I basically go throughout my video and wherever I want to add transitions, I go ahead and do that. I do not add transitions to every single um, change in the video because some things are cut out just to avoid an awkward pause, not necessarily starting a separate topic. Next up is creating backgrounds. I absolutely love the website Canva. I've been using it since undergrad, so I typically go to their YouTube channel art part, 
and then I just kind of search for um, themes or colors. So I'm wearing a yellow top in this video, so I figured I should do a yellow background, but I didn't find anything I really, really liked. So I ended up going back and I looked for tech since it's about tech, kind of. Still didn't like anything, <laughs> so I just went for this cute, like pinkish orange background. And then I typically, um, if they have a box for text, I go ahead and delete the text and then I um, make the box a like across the entire screen because I'm going to be adding my own um, typing background with the text that I actually want. And then I just download it to my computer. Next is actually creating the typing um, overlay. So I use Keynote and then I create a new presentation. Make sure that the background has no fill because this is what makes it transparent when you download it. I delete the second box and then add my text in the main box. Once you've got your text, you go to animate, build an effect, and I always use keyboard. I mean, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Next, I go back to my text and then I play around with the different fonts. I typically stick with American Typewriter. Every now and then I play around and do something different. Once you've got the size and the text you want, you can go back to animate and hit build order. Um, so I like to have my click start after a transition and I like for the transition to have a few clicks and then actually start and you can actually preview it to see what exactly you like. And then once that's ready, um, I chose to change my text to black since my background that I'm using it on is going to be white. And then I export. So you're gonna to export to movie and then you're gonna customize your resolution. So I do 1920, which will automatically turn it into 1230 or something like that, 1020. And then Apple ProRes and then save and uh, name it however you want to find it in your Mac. So just like everything else, we're going to find what we just created in our downloads and we're going to add it into the point in the video that we want it to be at. So I didn't name this, so it's under Untitled Design. And since this is the background, I don't want it moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's set to Fit, not Ken Burns. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my overlay. I'm going to find it in Downloads and I'm going to add it over the background. So I'm just going to let it play for a little bit, see how long it is. and then. Specifically for me, I like to stop it after a few clicks after the last word. Like I don't want it to just keep going on. So I split the clip, delete the extra parts I don't want. And then I start actually editing the typing part. So I want it to be obviously bigger so that it takes up more space. I want it to be kind of centered and I just play around to my liking. So one of the last things I do is add voiceovers. So you'll go to that point where you want to talk over, you'll hit the microphone, hit the red record button, and they'll give you a three second countdown. Um, here I'm just literally singing my ABC so that you guys can see what it looks like when you're actually creating a voiceover. And when you're done, you can simply hit the record button again, or you can hit done, which is to the right. So next up is my favorite thing, which is adding music. I already have a good amount of music kind of saved on my iMovie over the last year of having my YouTube channel. But when I'm interested in something new, um, I go to a website called Thematic, which is amazing. So I already have an account. So all I do is I log in with my Google account and then I can search all the new music, music I worked on before, music that's currently like popping on YouTube channels, etc. And the best thing about this is that I can listen to it and then when I'm ready to download, I download, and you'll see this in a few seconds, but when you download the music, it actually um, shows you how to give credit to the actual artist, which is really, really big with YouTube because you don't wanna have copyrighted music on your channel because you cannot monetize that. So you'll see that I listen to a few songs, um, you know, get my groove on, 
and then um, I typically download maybe two to three songs each round of this because I just like to have songs in case without having to like go put it in my video and then find out I don't really like it that much and then go back to the Matic and download something else and then do it again and again. So I typically download two to three songs at a time. So when you're ready to download, you just hit this little down arrow to the right hand corner and that will download the song and then it would take you immediately to a page that shows you how to give credit. So essentially you just copy this into your YouTube um, comment section or your caption section and you're good. And like everything else, you find the song in your downloads and then this time instead of putting it over your film, you put it under your film and then you can just play around with you know how long you want that I want the music to run you know I like um, to like stop things at a like a specific beat in the song or I might just like the chorus so I'll typically add it in you only use a few seconds in the beginning and then you'll see later on that I typically whatever music I start the song with I like to also end it with the same song and depending on the clip I like to go ahead and mute the clip if I'm playing music under so I just go to that clip hit the audio button and then um, cancel out the audio and then I do the same thing with sound effects. So sound effects already come in iMovie, which is amazing unless you're looking for something super specific like SpongeBob. So what I do is I go to sound effects, which is in the left hand corner, and I pick the one I want, which is typically bottle cork, but like the only one I use. You click on it and you drag the green bar down to the place where you want to implement it. And then it sounds like this. Last but not least is adding your social media and subscribe button. So I use an app called Moho on my phone, um, which basically creates really cute Instagram stories. So what I do is I open the app and I use the minimal one and I add follow me on IG and I have a screen recording of my Instagram page just showing what's on it. And then I delete the like promo part at the bottom that says made with Moho. And then I save and airdrop to my MacBook. Once again, I use what I've created and I find it in downloads and I add it on top of my film. So again, we're going to use picture in picture and then we're just going to play with sizing to my liking. I typically go ahead and also add the bottle cork sound effect just to grab your attention in the beginning of the video as well. So the subscribe button, I actually download it from a website that has like YouTube resources, but we want to do the same thing. We want to add it on top of our film, make sure it's picture in picture, make sure it's fit and not Ken Burns, and then play around with your liking. Um, typically I do also add in the bottle cork with this to grab your attention as well. But um, this time I did like a cute little crickets thing, um, which you will notice in the beginning of the video and you will also notice why. If you have an outro made, go ahead and add that. Um, I consider outro to be kind of in the social media slash subscribe section because that's what mine is. It says to subscribe and it also has my Instagram on it. Um, and personally, like I mentioned, whatever I start my song with um, in the beginning, I like that song to also be in the end. So I mute my outro song and I add the song that I'm using in the video. And 
now you're done. Um, after this, I basically just start the video all the way over and I watch it through a few times. Um, typically, I might, you know, catch a weird pause that I forgot to take out. Other than that, this is my final product. And then I export to YouTube. Okay, now officially the last thing. So I'm using over again to create my thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go to transparent and then I'm gonna pick the size of the YouTube thumbnail, which you can actually find at the bottom. It would definitely tell you. And so since this is an editing video, I went ahead and took a screenshot of myself editing. So I'm gonna import that video, um, that screenshot that I took my Mac to my iPad, and I'm gonna size it appropriately. And then um, because I'm using iMovie and I want people to know that I used iMovie, I'm gonna search for a transparent logo on Google. Once I save that, I'm going to add that in to other, I'm sorry, into cover. <laughs> and then I'm just going to basically play around with all the free graphics and free text that I currently have until I find something that I like. helped you actually create your channel and you edit your own videos um, keep in mind I'm not a pro this is just what works for me but I thoroughly enjoy editing now so I figured I would put this out because a lot of my friends keep asking me how I do it um, but stay tuned for another um, how I edit my videos once I get my new camera maybe even an unboxing be sure to like subscribe and comment below and as well have a great and safe day oh that sounds like a preacher be sure to like comment and subscribe below and have a safe day yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song.